Hi, I'm Giampaolo Bandini and uh, I play in duo with uh, Cesare Chiacchiaretta from uh, since a long time, more or less 20 years and uh, it's 20 years that we play a lot of uh, Astor Piazzolla's music. Uh, of course, uh, it's a great pleasure for us to discover day by day this great composer and uh, it's uh, every day something new, something interesting. He did uh, more than uh, 400 compositions, so it's a uh, really big repertoire. And uh, also the, the centenary of Astor Piazzolla, it's uh, just uh, this year. And for us, it was a really great uh, uh, occasion to to improve and to uh, make new transcription, new arrangement. And so, in uh, particular, this year we did Le Grand Tango, that it's a really amazing and uh, uh, beautiful uh, piece by Astor Piazzolla, written for uh, Mitislav Rostropovich and it's original for cello and piano, but. Uh, we try to do uh, a new version for uh, guitar and bandoneon. Of course, it's not easy because the the writing of the piano part and also the bandoneon it has to change a lot, a lot of parts. Uh, and uh, but uh, at the end, I think it's really uh, a new composition, a new color, a new idea of this piece, and we are very happy about that because it's really one of the most uh, important composition by, by him, so uh, it, it's really uh, something like a, a dream to play this uh, beautiful composition. And, uh, and also the, the, we discover each other in these 20 years, no? the, the relationship uh, between uh, the guitar and bandoneon, the sound, uh, the arrangement, uh, and also the way to play it's a bit uh, changed in this uh, in these 20 years uh, because we really uh, try to to improve to discover new uh, new things and uh, to uh, make uh, really a, a sound of the duo this in these 20 years we the the, the focus was uh, try to make uh, the duo like an, an only one instrument and uh, and uh, I think in the in this sense we we have uh, we are at the well uh, the good point now and of course we have always to to we can do better but but I think it's a really a really good uh, goal and we are so happy So happy to be here at the Volterra Guitar Project. It's an amazing experience for me. It's the second time I was here a uh, uh, long time ago, I think uh, 12 or 13 years ago. And uh, it looks always fantastic. Uh, the uh, relationship between uh, teachers and the students, uh, the relationship between uh, the guitar and the nature, the food, uh, the, uh, also the activities during the day because the students uh, are uh, living in something like in a community and they make some uh, collective uh, subjects uh, like acting, uh, improvisation uh, and um, uh, physiology, yoga and some others uh, make really a great, a great uh, uh, connection of these things and, uh, and I think for students it's an amazing experience, incredible experience. Uh, 10 days uh, living uh, in, 
into the music, uh, into the into the quality of the life, and uh, and uh, into the nature. And this is incredible uh, experience, and I see that the students uh, uh, making uh, improvement day by day, and uh, his uh, way to live in a in a group in a community. I think it's uh, different from normal style and normal way of life, and so. Uh, they are a little bit uh, uh, at, the, at the first moment a little bit uh, shocked, but uh, but uh, then it's uh, they are really excited because it's a wonderful experience and probably uh, they don't have so many uh, possibility to do that uh, in the future or in another place because no, it's not possible to find. A, a project like this one. So thank you very much to Antigoni and to all the staff of the Water Guitar Project. I am so proud to be here, and thank you to my all my colleague uh, Marta Masters, uh, Antigoni Goni, and the all other uh, faculty. So thank you so much. the piazzolla music need different abilities sometimes from the more regular repertoire of the guitar and we discover a lot of way to to play and uh, to, to have inspiration from the Piazzolla's music but at the end uh, I'm sure that the, the freedom uh, within the, the um, rhythm and the, and the pulsation together make the Piazzolla's music really really at the best uh, it's not uh, easy to play because at the same time you have to have a lot of uh, yes uh, free and uh, and uh, passion and uh, sometimes uh, a very intensity way to play but in a, in a way in a, a time in a pulsation and you, you you have to make a lot of rubato going and come back and uh, and uh, it's not really normal for a classical musician, but uh, with uh, with uh, practicing, uh, you can uh, you can learn to do that. And at the end, uh, when you are able to do that, it's a really incredible experience, really incredible emotion. So of course, in these twenty years, uh, many things changed, but. Uh, but uh, we think to to give to the piazzolla music a really a new a new color, new style, especially because uh, we are a classical musician. So we we look the the piazzolla style with different eyes. So it's uh, probably uh, different styles between from other musicians, but. Uh, but we work a lot to, to reach this, uh, this way to play piazzolla and we are very proud of that. Yes, uh, uh, technical skills and uh, interpretation for me are uh, of course related and, uh, and are strictly connected. I think it's not possible to think about the uh, technique separated from the interpretation. I, in my opinion, uh, 
you have to to improve the the technical skills but always thinking to the to the music and the 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 way to interpret the the, the music so uh, also when you make exercise also when you make uh, um, technical uh, daily routine every day I think it's so it's uh, very important to think uh, how to do that you uh, know not only mechanic and only only exactly exercise uh, uh, without uh, no uh, no without any uh, point of view musical point of view but I think it's very important to practice thinking to the music that you have to go to 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 play in that period or in in the future and so it's very important try to 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 study in this way uh, don't uh, without forget the 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 focus of our playing you know that is always the music so uh, it's uh, really so important to to practice also the technical uh, problems but I, I think with the musical elements uh, together so I break a scale but with crescendo diminuendo with articulation with um, dynamics uh, with agogic uh, I think also when you make a good uh, a good uh, technical daily routine but uh, connected together with the music uh, you reach uh, uh, of course uh, better level and uh, no doubt uh, for that and uh, and so it's very important don't uh, don't forget this element and uh, if you when you play it's really uh, it's really not possible to play three notes at the same level because it's not music no you have always to make uh, phrases and always to make uh, um, different uh, dynamics and uh, order to make uh, different tension and distension so and so and when you make a technical daily routine all together to, 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 to all uh, the same all the same level on same frequency I think it's a little bit boring and it's not so helpful to the to the music stuff so I think it's also important of course to reach uh, the, the uniformity and the, to reach uh, uh, good technical um, requirement but uh, but it's also important uh, to have uh, to have uh, an idea of music so I can do a scale a scale with crescendo and diminuendo with diminuendo and crescendo with articulation legato and staccato and, uh, in, and of course for the piazzola music is the best uh, way to play also because uh, in the piazzola music never is the same uh, and so it's very very important but uh, for me the piazzola music is in something in some way is related to also to the 19 music you know the 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 idea of the of the canto of the singer and of the melody it's something like uh, connected with uh, with the Paganini music, for example, of, of Giuliani or the opera composer in Italy. So, and it's very important uh, to study like that because all the music is more or less the same uh, way. We have to make the music at the best way, and I think you have to practice it, uh, in in this with this uh, point of view. So that's all.